Great, so welcome back. And this is question 185 called Department Top 3 Salaries. Now this is an extension of a previous question, which is Department Top Salary. And where you're here, you're grabbing the you know, top three salaries. So the employees with the highest salaries on a department basis. And so we have an employee table and a department table and they're just linked together by the employee's department ID and the ID of the department table. Okay, and so say, you know, here we have the IT department and the sales department. Um, we only return two results for the sales department because, well, um, there's only two individuals in the sales department. But here, we don't wanna have distinct results actually. So there's two people with an $85,000 salary. And so although we only want the top three high salaries, we actually get four results here, okay? And so I'll provide an Oracle solution for this, and we're gonna use a CTE, which is just basically a predefined query that you kind of get all the data for this query so that we can kind of use it in our main query. So it's a bit of a performance enhancement and it kind of just looks better when you're, uh, you're writing it. It's, it, it's a cleaner code. So we'll define our CTE as just employee modified or mpmod for short. And we'll just define our kind of subquery here. And so we're gonna select the rank. And so we're actually gonna be using um, this window function so that we can kind of on a department basis. And so we can find out who you know, has the highest salaries. So the top three highest salaries and we're gonna just rank them you know, in order of their salary. So we're gonna partition this by the department ID because we wanna rank them on a department basis. And then we want to order by the salary in descending order. So it goes from highest to lowest. So the highest salary would have rank of one, then two, three, and so forth. Great. And so we'll call this rank. Now, one thing that we actually want to do is use a dense rank instead. And so what this does is so that, you know, say you have, you, you want the three highest salaries. But once again, you know, say if someone's making, you know, 90K, one person making 85K, and the other person's making 80,000, um, you know, because we want to handle non-distinct values, so three here could also be 85K, and say, you know, four here is also 85K. If we were using the rank um, Windows function, this would actually evaluate um, to five here, right? And so, but using the dense rank, so actually this would be, you know, one, two, 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 then five. But with dense rank, this goes one, two, 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 and then three, right? And so once again, rank would look like one, two, 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 five instead of one, two, two, three, which we need. So we want this dense rank. Then what else do we need from this table? Well, we want the name, the salary, and the department ID. And once again, this is just coming from the employee table. So just clean this up. Great. So now, I'll just kind of fill in the aliases for our output. So I'll be using a alias for our department table first and we need the name of it called department. And then we need, we'll be joining it with that CD that we defined before. And we need the employee name. And then finally, we just need the salary for our output. Great, and so this is from the department table, which we give an alias D. We join it with our mod table on where the IDs equal each other. And we want a 
wherever the rank is less than or equal to three. And so that will kind of give us the top three values on a department basis because we're partitioning by the department ID. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that. And accepted, submit it, and success. So yeah, I, I hope that helped and my kind of explanation kind of helped make a bit more sense. I think this is a pretty useful solution. This is partly why I like using um, CTEs and the, these Windows functions are very helpful and just kind of, I think what makes this a harder question that and differentiates it from the, you know, department top salary rather than top three salaries is this um, dense rank Windows function. So it, it kind of requires a bit more knowledge, but um, yeah, so we're, we're better off now knowing it. So I good luck with the rest of your algorithms and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.